Today we're going to talk about the art studio habit of mind of observation. Artists observe. Observing is learning to pay attention to details more closely than ordinary looking requires. You'll see things that otherwise might not be seen. We have this whole area of our classroom set up for practicing the habit of observation. You'll notice in this area, there are lots of examples of self-portraits, portraits, and still life artwork. And you'll find tools over here to help you practice the habit of observation. We have mirrors that you can use to take a good close look at yourself and draw what you see. So for example, you might want to draw a picture of yourself you're going to grab a mirror off the wall, carefully take it off the hook. You can use it to look closely at yourself, observe yourself, observe what you look like. When you're done, you're gonna to want to find the square that matches the size of your mirror and you can place it back gently on the hook. There's also some facial proportion tools to help you learn more about facial proportions. We also have stuff for you to set up a still life. So a still life is artwork where the artist has set up things from real life that sit still and then they draw or paint or sculpt what they see. For like, for example, this beautiful vase of flowers sitting in front of a window with some fruit on the table. You could set that type of scene up for yourself by using some of the plants and vases that we have at this station. We also have these boxes of other materials that you can draw from observation. We have a bucket of ocean animals. We have bugs, land mammals, reptiles, bones, and fruit. Any of these things can be taken to any studio station that you want, set up your, your still life, and paint or draw what you see. This one has a bunch of really cool bones, skeletons. There are a lot of really cool still life um, pieces of art that famous artists have made with skulls in them. All of the materials in this station are for you to borrow. None of this should be taken home, cut, glued, taken apart, painted on. All of these things are to be shared. So please be very courteous of the other artists that want to use these materials. Whenever we are drawing something from observation, for example, maybe we want to draw this tarantula. We would want to look closely at what we see. I would want to look at how it's made of different shapes and how and where do the legs connect to the body? How do these legs look different? How do they curve? How do they, the line that curves, how do they have different colors of brown on the legs? That's looking more closely seeing what it really looks like. Whenever we're done with these items, we need to put them back in their container for others to use. I hope you guys will enjoy using our observation station and practicing the art of observation.